How's it going today, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another video. You're looking at me like, it's super-sized Kevin on the screen, oh my gosh. Why is that? Because no gameplay today, but we got ourselves the Halo loot box right here. So I figured I'd do a loot box opening so you guys can see what's inside this bad boy. And uh, let's get right into it. So the first thing when you open up the box, you notice that there is a sweet Arbiter inlay inside the box every box has like some kind of cool art inside of it so looks pretty sweet plus the box that's a pretty good condition it gets a little beat up when it gets traveled sent your way so there's that but great for if you want to use it for a shoe box present or something for presents in the future or something like that this box is perfect for that so and each box here has some confidential documents right here if you open these up, it comes with like a little text. Uh, looks like a kind of like a conversation between about Cortana, between some other Spartans. I don't really bother to read these, but if you're like a lore fanatic, then you'd probably would like to read it. It's a little short thing; wouldn't take too long to read. And then it comes with like a kind of like a little poster board kind of thing, a poster thing. I don't know exactly how you call it, but. Um, up about Cortana. Next thing we have is some <laughs> Halo Legendary Crate cookie cutters. I'll put this up to the screen here so you can see that. Cookie cutters. Let's open up and see what kind of shapes we have of cookie cutters we have in here. So we have, uh, first one we have is Master Chief's head. You can kind of make that out, right? Next one we have is the assault rifle <laughs> cookie cutter. Um, this one I'm not totally sure what this one is. I think it's High Charity. Or maybe it's just like, oh, I know, it's 343. It's a Guilty Spark. That's what it is, yeah. It kind of like at a weird angle. But yeah, it's Guilty Spark. And then this one you have the Plasma Pistol. Next thing we have here, we have a Master Chief action figure stand. It's kind of hard to see because of the glare on the box. I'll take it out of the box and set it up so you guys can really see what it looks like. All right, this is the Master Chief out of the box, set up properly. Looks like he's kind of like bubble shield put down right there with some needler spikes on it. But that looks rather cool. I'll go along with my other collection of the stands that come with that have been coming with the my other loot box openings. Another thing here, we got a Halo 2 battle rifle pin, which I think it's a Halo 2 battle rifle. It might be Halo 3 actually. Actually, yeah, this is a Halo 3 battle rifle, I believe, because I think this is like a Halo 3 themed box, so I'll put it up to the screen here. Hopefully you can get a little better look. Get there a little bit. But yeah. You get a pin pretty much for every box. I haven't really bothered to use them, but I mean, they're, they're there. Next thing we have is a UNSC duffel bag. It kind of gets messed up because it's green. I have a green background and stuff, but uh, so my green screen's kind of messing up. But it's a pretty decently sized duffel bag. It has a pocket on the side, I believe, right? Yeah, pocket right here on the side. Carry things in there. You get the main body as well. Holds a lot of stuff. The material on it is kind of thin, kind of like a like a windbreaker kind of material. So nothing too thick or hardy. So I would definitely avoid using anything that's heavy with sharp edges, but I don't know, carry something, some light stuff for like a camping day trip or something. Definitely could use that. Well, going for a walk or whatever. I don't know. Whatever you use a duffel bag for. And like many of the other boxes, we get a poster in this one. This one looks pretty sweet. I might actually have to frame this one because it looks really freaking cool. I've really enjoyed all the artwork that comes with all these posters. They're really well done. Um, it is the Master Chief and Arbiter right there. You can kind of lower it down a little bit. You can kind of see him right there, just being all badass and like we're working together because we're awesome. And then on the uh, the back of it, it has a code right there on the back of the uh, poster, so then you get to have some in-game awesomeness right there. So I'll definitely show you at the end of this video what you get on the in-game code. And lastly, we get a t-shirt, and this is a pretty awesome shirt. I'll show you guys right here. It's a mongoose t-shirt holding the flag 
running with it. It looks pretty freaking awesome. Nothing on the back. It's just plain. That's this, this, that's the only art on this one. They've come up with some pretty awesome t-shirts in this loot box. One was really bad with the Captain Keys one, which is the previous episode if you want to see that one. That was terrible, but most of the time they come out with these pretty cool looking shirts. And I really enjoy them a lot. They're pretty freaking awesome. And that was sweet. So yeah, let's get right into what's the code going to give us for the loot box here. Okay, so now we're back down to the regular smaller size Kevin here. We're in game. We just typed in the code for the Halo Legendary Crate here. Let's open up the pack and see what's inside. Come on, give me something cool. We got the Speed Booster. We got a Mantis Certification. Ooh, we got the Aurum, as I pronounce it. Camo on the pistol, so that looks rather nice. Fire Team Majestic emblem, which actually looks kind of cool. A War Zone boost, big uh, legendary boost, and a bunch of stuff. So nothing really specific to the loot crate itself, which is kind of a shame. Before, like they had the camo, which was a sticker shock, which eventually, eventually became available for everybody to grab. But uh, nothing too crazy there. But anyways, guys, that's uh, everything with this loot crate here. If you enjoy this kind of videos, want to see more like it, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you guys got the legendary crate as well, what your thoughts on it or what your thoughts are on this video. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, always tap the subscribe button with the with the little bell, get you notifications every time I upload awesomeness to this channel. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.